Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and had a good week and welcome to my six round pub quiz. If it is your first time here, it's a really, really easy game to play. It's a six round uh, quiz in a pub quiz style and I'll explain all the rules and the rounds to you before they begin. All I recommend that if you'd like to keep track of your score, go and get yourself a pen and paper or an iPad or phone, something to jot it down with, makes life a whole lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was, I went to a casino, how much was a pint of beer? £5.50. I didn't think that was too bad. Um, I haven't been to a casino for a long, long time, but I thought that was pretty reasonable. So let's see how that affected last week's leaderboard. So these are all the single players, everybody who finished between first and 10th. Uh, some really cracking scores. In third place, it was Husky Mum with 60. 60. Well done, Husky Mum. Second place, Davina, also with 60. Well done, Davina. And in top spot is Lewis with 62. Well done. Great quiz in Lewis. Fantastic. And a big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared and commented on the video. So we'll look at the teams. Everyone between 1st and 10th. And there you go. Again, as always, some great, great scores. Well done to you all. Third place, uh, Sharon in the Machine, 65. Well done. Second, Sisters in Arms, also with 65. Well done to your team. And top spot is Golden Wolf, again, with 65. Well done to you all. And a big thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. Really is appreciated. So uh, this week's quiz is going to be ever so slightly different. I have left it so, so late. I had an awful lot going on this week. Um, so usually when I record them, they take a bit of editing. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to record all the way through. So there could be some mistakes, some outside noises, but maybe that'll add to the fun of it. Um, I'll try not to say anything too, uh, miss say anything too rude. But anyway, let's begin this week's quiz. So there are six rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week, the double points round is called who or what am I round. Round four is a pictogram round. Round five is assistance and sidekicks. And the final round is general knowledge. So I'll give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final rounds. As always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. Round one is the picture round. There are 10 in total to do, and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, who is this TV or movie star? Number two, who's this from the world of music? Number three, name the retired sportswoman. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? Number five, name the symbol. And number six, uh, what is the name of this waterfall? Number seven, name the sport. And number eight, uh, what type of hat is this? Number nine, name the dinosaur. Helps if you're a fan of Jurassic Park. And the last one in this round, what is this a close-up of?
Round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one. Bella Lugosi, Christopher Lee and Gary Oldman have all played which fictional character? Number two, airing on Netflix, Physical 100 is a reality survival competition that is held in which country? Number three, I took my baby on a Saturday bang. Boy, is that girl with you? Yes, we're one and the same. Now I believe in miracles and a miracle has happened tonight. Are the opening lyrics to which song? Number four, name the cartoon. Number five, one dream for Jamaicans, 20 below zero is the tagline of which movie? Number six, born in 1985, what is a stage name for the artist whose real name is Peter Jean Hernandez? And number seven, Electra, Greaseball and Rusty are characters in which Andrew Lloyd Webber musical? Number eight, the Flying V was a signature move in which 1992 live action Disney film? Number nine, who had a hit song in 1997 with Bittersweet Symphony? And the last one this round, number 10, what is the highest rated TV show on IMBD? Is it Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones? That's the end of round two. I hope you're having fun so far. I will go through the answers and round three and four will start immediately after. So the answers for round one, number one, this TV or movie star is Michael Sarah. Number two from the world of music is Ellie Goulding. Number three, the retired sportswoman, Billie Jean King. And number four is a young Jack Black. Number five, the symbol is yin, yin and yang. Number six, the waterfall, Angel Falls. Number seven, the sport is hurling. Number eight, the type of hat, as worn by Sherlock Holmes, is a deer stalker. And number nine, the dinosaur. Very well done if you said Dilophosaurus. And the last one, number ten, the close-up. It is the game Pop-Up Pirate. So the answers for round two, number one, Bella Lugosi, Christopher Lee and Gary Oldman have all played Dracula. 
Number two, airing on Netflix, Physical 100 is a reality survival competition held in South Korea. Actually, really good. I quite enjoy it. Number three, these are the opening lyrics to Black or White uh, by Michael Jackson. And number four, the cartoon, Hong Kong Fooey. And number five, One Dream for Jamaicans, 20 Below Zero, is Cool Runnings. Number six, Peter Jean Hernandez is the real name of Bruno Mars. And number seven, Electra, Greaseball and Rusty are all characters in the musical Starlight Express. Number eight, The Flying V was a signature move in which 1992 Disney film is in The Mighty Ducks. Number nine, who had a hit song in 1997 with Bittersweet Symphony? That is The Verve. And the last one, number 10, what is the highest rated TV show on IMBD, Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones? It is Breaking Bad. Okay, round three is called Who or What Am I? Now this is a round where there are two points available per question, 20 points up for grabs, the way the round's going to work. You're gonna see three clues uh, describing someone, a place, a thing, a film, anything like that. And you just have to figure out what it is from those clues. So I'll give you an example. Say the three clues were, I was born in 1935. I was known as the king of rock and roll and I've had more UK number one hits than anybody. So the answer to that, uh, the clues are Elvis. That would be the answer to those three clues. And on your screen, there are two to do. Now, the one on the left is worth one point. The one on the right is worth two points. I have deemed the one on the left to be easier. Now, if you get both of them, you do not get three points. You would just get two. So I hope that makes sense. Also, I've given you 25 seconds each one, which might be a long time for some, but I think to read all the clues, some people will need that long. So I do hope you enjoy and best of luck to you all.
Round four is the pictogram round. For those of you who haven't played before, very easy to do. It's a, a lot like the TV show catchphrase. So you will see an image on your screen that I've created and you just have to guess what that is an image of. So the easy thing to do is just give you a quick example. So if you saw this on your screen, you can see at the bottom, I'm asking for the name of a band. And from the image, the number one pointed in direction, the answer would be one direction. So I hope that makes sense. And there are 15 in total to do. So the answers to round three, number one is one point if you said crow or two points if you said seahorse. Number two, one point if you said Judy Garland or two points if you said Ewan McGregor. I love the fact his brother's called Obi-2, brilliant. Uh, number three, one point if you said the Golden Gate Bridge or two points for Sydney Harbour Bridge. Number four. So one point for Thailand. Much more difficult this one. Well done. Two points if you said Sierra Leone. Number five. One point for George Foreman. Or two points for Michael Schumacher. Uh, number six. One point for ABBA, uh, well done. Two points if you said Aretha Franklin. Number seven, one point for Winston Churchill. Or two points if you said Silvio, Silvio Berlusconi. Number eight, one point for Snakes and Ladders. 
Uh, well done if you got this one. Two points if you said ticket to ride. Number nine. One point for Alien. Or two points for Blade. And the last one, number 10. One point if you said battery. Or two points if you said air conditioner. So really well done if you got most of those. So the answers for round four, number one, the hotel is the Four Seasons. Number two, the food dish. Coronation chicken. Number three, the saying or phrase is don't shoot the messenger. Number four, the children's film, Big Hero 6. Number five, sorry about this, it's the big kid in me. The bodily function is of course breaking wind. And number six, the sports team. It's John Denver in the middle, the Denver Nuggets. Number seven, the video game is Half-Life. Number eight, the car maker model is Ford Escort. Number nine, the saying or phrase, barking up the wrong tree. And the last one, the plant, is Deadly Nightshade. So that's the end of round four. I hope you're having fun so far. And let me know what you thought of round three in the comments. Uh, it was a brand new round for me. It was, it was fun to do. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to know what you thought as to whether to do another round in the future. So uh, this is a point in the quiz I ask. If you are having fun, please just take 10 seconds out to click that like button. As I say, every single time I ask, it's really, really appreciated and makes such a big difference. So thank you to everybody who does do that. It will now go into round five and six. The answers will follow immediately after and there will be a tie break at the end so watch out for that. Okay round five is called assistants and sidekicks. Very very easy game to play. There are ten names of well-known assistants and sidekicks. You just have to tell me who they are an assistant or sidekick for. So I've given you one minute for the entire round. You're going to see all ten in one go. Best of luck. So round six, the final round is general knowledge, and there are 10 questions in total. Number one, what is the name of the syndrome in which hostages grow to empathize with their captors? Number two, which two continents are separated by the Bosphorus Strait? Number three, Anthony Albanese is the current Prime Minister of which country? Number four, 
number four. The action figures G.I. Joe and Action Man were released in which decade? Number five, what is the name of the search engine operated by Microsoft? Number six, what color is a plant pigment chlorophyll? Number seven. Traditionally, crystal represents how many years of marriage? And number eight. Who was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth? Number nine, it has been proven that astronauts do what whilst they are in space? Do they shrink or do they grow? And the last one, number 10, name any five of the seven deadly sins. So the answers for round five, we'll start with number one, Sancho Panza is Don Quixote. Number two, Captain Hastings, Poirot. Number three, Miss Moneypenny is James Bond. Number four, Waylon Smithers is Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Number five, Dr. John Watson is Sherlock Holmes. Number six, Tonto is The Lone Ranger, Dwight Schrute. The assistant to the regional manager, uh, Michael Scott. Number eight, Passport Two is Phileas Fogg. Number nine, Mini-Me, is Dr. Evil. And the last one, number 10, Penfold, is Danger Mouse. So really, really good job if you got all or most of those. The answers to round six, number one, what is the name of the syndrome in which hostages grow to empathize with their captors? That is Stockholm Syndrome. Number two, which continents are separated by the Bosphorus Straits? That is Asia and Europe. Number three, Anthony Albanese is the current Prime Minister of which country? The answer is Australia. And number four, the action figures G.I. Joe and Action Man were released in the 1960s. Number five, what is the name of the search engine operated by Microsoft? Bing. Number six, what color is a plant pigment chlor uh, chlorophyll? It is green. Number seven, traditionally crystal represents how many years of marriage? 15. Number eight, who was assassinate assassinated by John Wilkes Booth? That is Abraham Lincoln. Number nine, it has been proven that astronauts do what whilst they're in space, shrink or grow, they grow. And the last one, number 10, name any five of the seven deadly sins. So if you said any five from pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony and sloth, give yourself the point and a well done. So now for this week's tiebreaker, remember when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It always makes a difference. So the tiebreaker this week, one I'm really, really looking forward to, is I'm going for a game of golf on Thursday, uh, a full 18 holes. What would I score? Um, so I'll just, for those of you who play golf, um, I haven't hit a ball in four and a half years, but four and a half years ago, I used to play off 9.5. So I wasn't too shabby, 
God knows what I'll get now. So the question this week is, how many, uh, what score will I get at a game of golf? Uh, good luck with your guess. So that's the end of the quiz. A huge thank you for playing. As always, really, really is appreciated. Now, if you were waiting for this quiz to come out early on a Saturday, I am so, so sorry. I've had a crazy, crazy few days and I just couldn't do it on time. So uh, later than I would have wanted. But um, yeah, again, if you were waiting, I apologize. So just before I sign off, I have a few shout outs to do. I'll begin by wishing Neve a very, uh, Neve, sorry, a very happy 22nd birthday. Happy birthday to you, Neve. A happy birthday to Dorothy from Team 6A. Have a great weekend, Dorothy. Uh, your team always leave wonderful messages, so you have a great time. Happy 63rd birthday to Kathy. Happy birthday, Kathy. I hope you have lots of fun. Happy birthday to... <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy birthday to Megan. Have a great birthday, Megan. A happy 15th birthday to Emily. Happy birthday, Emily. I hope you have some lovely, lovely gifts. Happy 35th birthday to Jamie. Happy birthday to you, Jamie. Happy belated birthday uh, to Donna. I hope you had a good day and best of luck with your recovery. Um, happy fifth. <clears throat> Sorry, happy 35th birthday to Simon Hardy. I hear he's a quiz enthusiast, an amazing cat dad, and a long suffering husband. So uh, may maybe you'll, you'll be spoiled this weekend. And uh, yeah, you won't be suffering this weekend, I'm sure. Have a great, great birthday. Uh, just two more to do. I'd like to wish uh, Matt and Rusty all the best. They've just moved to Suffolk to start, uh, start a new life. So good luck to you both. And uh, thank you to all the times you comment. Always puts a smile on my face. And the last one, um, I got a message saying that uh, Angela, who plays the quiz, has had a lot of medical issues recently. So I send you lots and lots of Angela and best of luck with your recovery. Take care. Uh, so th that's the end of the shout outs. Again, thank you all for playing. Have a lovely, lovely week and see you next Saturday.